Thank you, Alan. Uh, my presentation today has been made a little bit easier. I'm lucky that there's been discussion on the wonders of operating in Chile, um, as well as Michael doing the heavy lifting on uh, high sulfidation epithermal deposits. If I was to say anything about Condor, and unfortunately our um, uh, geological director couldn't be here today, and you can see the title that he's given us there, and he's actually said, Exploration for Giant Deposits in a World-Class Region. I'm a little bit simpler, and what I would say to you is actually location, location, location. When we look at Condor Mines and our portfolio of projects, we've managed to bring together some really attractive targets that bring together two key elements. So one is alteration, which is where you need to be, and number two is mineralisation. So we know what we're looking for, we know where to look, and now we're very actively looking at it. So if I move you through, uh, we have our competent person statement at the end, but the usual disclaimers apply. Uh, having been a lawyer, I'm very aware of the need to actually have those. We're very much a project-led company, so these are three of our geologists out in the field, so that's at our flagship Carriage Pampa project. We're very high in the Andes. Uh, our lead projects are at uh, 4,000 metres elevation. The situation in Chile is actually, however, somewhat different to Peru, and I'll come to that in a moment. But we're focusing on two types of deposits, so high sulfidation, epithermal gold-silver projects, as well as the copper-gold porphyry systems that can sit underneath those. So we have multiple targets, and we're working at actually drilling those out at the moment. If I move you across to the next slide, what I would draw your attention to in the company is really this combination of being in the right place as well as an environment that makes mining and exploration very effective. The geology is great, it's a world-class region. I'll run through some of the examples as we go through the slides. I'll be quite quick, so if you do want to visit our booth afterwards, please do come and visit us. The number two thing here is Chile. So as a regulatory environment, very low levels of corruption, very clear mining legislation, and indeed the, our opportunities come out of that mining legislation. So we managed to make contact with some small Chilean companies who had existing rights or new people who had rights. Under the Chilean regulations, your titles are secure, we don't have spending commitments, and so people are able to hold on to titles for a long period of time. So we've managed to bring those guys actually into our company and to form a company that could provide the capital to drive these projects forward. The second element, which you may have noticed from the earlier slides, is we're, we're operating in the Atacama Desert. There's virtually no precipitation. Uh, it's like being on the moon. Uh, so we don't have uh, many problems with uh, local communities. There are no local communities. And so we're looking to do high-paced exploration in an environment that is well suited to mining. Talking about our team, so very much a project-led company. Uh, Carl Swenson, who's our geological director, was former chief exploration geologist at Normandy, so 33 years experience with Carl, as well as our exploration manager, Roberto, over in Chile, who has over 40 years experience operating at the general manager level for large local exploration companies. So just working through, these are our lead exploration projects. We actually have two other projects that are more copper vein type systems. We've decided to actually focus on these because we're in elephant country here and focusing our energies on these projects is the way to generate much higher shareholder value much more quickly. And in terms of the strength of the region, I might flick you forward. So you can see in the top right hand corner are our La Isla and Carachapampa projects. These are our high sulfidation epithermal targets. And the Maracunga Belt, which is home to some of the largest and certainly multi-million ounce gold deposits, is running diagonally up in a line there. So you can see that there's a number of actual uh, large deposits which are marked by those uh, round yellow circles and we're sitting in that name belt. The other attractive part of Carachapampa is it actually sits adjacent to known mines. And in fact, it's part of the same alteration system, that we have an alteration system that's actually emerged there through volcanic activity and these superheated liquids coming up. And Carachapampa, which you could see in yellow marked there, 
shares a boundary with five kilometres away from the Arcaros project. Arcaros uh, was owned by Laguna, which was, well, has been effectively taken out by Kingsgate. Um, and in fact, Kingsgate informs me that they've uh, taken over that whole area now, so we'll have to update our slides. But Carajapampa brings together really fantastic elements. We know that it's a strong alteration system, so you can see from the ASTA data there, uh, this is satellite data that maps out certain minerals at surface, showing us and giving us a broad brush stroke of where the alteration systems sit. We've combined that together with soil sampling uh, and taking grab samples. And so at surface, we've had results up to 6.5 grams per tonne gold, as well as 57 grams per tonne silver. So this is really showing strong mineralisation sitting in that alteration system. And I'm happy to announce, as has come out on ASX today, we will be drilling this in the next week. I hope to have been able to come here and actually say that the drill was turning now. Drilling contractors being as they are, the drill has left the project it was at before and is mobilising to site. So we're hoping to have uh, that drilling by Sunday. We've also then went on and did a second project. Uh, well, we did some second pass mapping work in actually targeting the drill targets for Carachapampa. Um, there we did a little bit of digging to go in uh, and the gold grades again came back at really excellent levels. So 8.28 grams per tonne gold, uh, the silver value came in at 32.4 grams per tonne silver. So we're getting very, very consistent results and that's enabled us with close groundwork. We listed actually in February this year. So we've spent the time working through really mapping very closely so we can place those drilling points for maximum impact. And so the drilling program that will occur there, 3,000 metres initially uh, across 10 holes. This is our second ranked project, uh, La Isla. And if you actually go back to the earlier slides, you can see La Isla is located 30 kilometres away from Carachapampa. You can probably there just make out the faint lines that are roads. So everything is very well accessed and that's because of its proximity to existing mines. And so in Laisla we have uh, historical data that came from Kinross who held the project previously and you can see on the left hand side that Kinross drilled a number of holes however they targeted in based on their soils results on only a small part of the alteration system and so they've tested approximately 10 percent of the system leaving still a great deal of potential and indeed if you look at the soils results on the right hand side, there are certainly some very good soils hits there and we're going to be pursuing them towards the end of this year. So Carriage Pamper is our first target and Laisla will be drilled soon after that. Uh, Geratus is our third project. This project is 100% owned. I should say that Carriage Pamper and Laisla, we have four year exploration options and then the right to purchase out those projects for two to three million dollars. Geratus is wholly owned. We're leaving that for the future because of the title situation there that you're actually able to hold these titles in perpetuity. So we're leaving that one and obviously concentrating on the projects that are under ticking option periods. So that's just some detail on Geratus and comparing it to the results from the Canadian firm Metallica who drilled similar alteration systems a few kilometres away and achieved results up to 158 metres at 0.36% copper and uh, 0.37 grams per tonne gold. So we, we feel very positive about that project as well and we'll be pursuing that down the track. Uh, moving through to the project that we have recently drilled and released results on, Gold Iron was our fourth ranked target. It's a little bit lower in the Andes, so it sits at 2,500 metres, so we were able to operate there over the winter. And the amazing thing about the Atacama Desert there's virtually no vegetation. And so in actually inspecting and deciding, well, where are these alteration systems? They're actually visible. And so you can see there that the alteration system is the orange color mountain that sticks out, and it's quite distinct from the other areas. So we've done a number, well, a number of uh, background, much background work on Gold Iran including close mapping. We also collected, obviously, the ASTA data um, to then go through and drill our first pass program. And our first pass program, we completed six holes uh, to approximately 200, 250 metres depth using an RC rig. Uh, we turned mineralisation in all six holes, uh, intersections of up to 200 metres. 
uh, we actually have some results that we've released this morning. And those results show uh, copper results peaking out at 9,500 parts per million, so 0.95% copper, which are highly respectable results, showing that this alteration system is actually mineralized. So this was our fourth rank project. We've now gone through and drilled that, and it's quickly moving up the ranks. So great results in each hole. We also had molybdenum returned, suggesting that it's a copper molybdenum system. And we'll be now moving on to do some deeper drilling in the next phase of Gold Iran. So these are some of the assays on the first two holes. As I mentioned, we do have an announcement now that has the assays across all six holes. But we have mineralisation in all holes, wide intersection, and quite respectable grades of copper that are encouraging us to go on and try and find the heart of this thing. Um, just skipping through, so things are going to start to move quite rapidly for us now. We waited out the winter. Uh, we've got a number of drilling programs slated to commence. Certainly Karachapampa is our primary target. We'll be starting within the next few days. That it will be followed by La Isla. We're planning to actually shift the rig between the two projects. And then we'll be moving on and doing our second phase at Gold Iran in due course. So just to summarise where we're at, really this is about being in elephant country. We've managed to bring together a set of projects that are highly prospective. We have the right team and now we're actually getting on the ground and getting the drill rig turning. So these are just some investment highlights, uh, just noting that we've come onto the market in February of this year, 75 million shares on issue. So we are a small cap company. We are trying to add value quickly to our projects uh, and then hopefully looking to bring in larger partners or certainly bring in more capital to then drive the projects through. And that's our competent person statement. Thank you.